coldest couple days in a couple years, even though it's been a mild winter the last two days. It was uh, 12 below, 10 below at the warmest yesterday. Midday, it's 16 below right now, 15 below. Last year, this froze. <clears throat> Gravity fed water from a pond over there. I buried it more this year and I changed the outflow to be more protected from the cows. It's flowing, but it's almost frozen up. I don't know how much more durable this would be, like how many more days like this this could stand. Maybe a lot, maybe only one or two. It's a little hard to tell. want to see the outflow. Okay, there's the outflow. I changed it to mostly plastic too, because the metal obviously conducts more. That's got full flow. I'm guessing this could, this could continue like this for a long time. Maybe, you know, impervious to almost any weather we'd get, if not any weather we would get. Um, but I don't know. That's great. Uh, the thing is, the cows do have to break this to get at it, because like, there's really no usable water until what I just did. So in some ways, that's interesting. See, that froze over, not at the water surface. See, this comes in above water level. That's on purpose. That's about an inch and a half above water level from that side, so that size an inch and a half below the bottom of that, of that fitting where it's coming out. And so I figured that would keep a hole open right here. Pretty reasonable to think that, right? But it froze over from humidity. Like right here, it just froze, the humidity froze it. <laughs> it which denied cow access. So, <laughs> that's a, Water always throws a curveball. No replacement for experience. And even then it can throw a curveball. Um, for sure. Because there's just different weather patterns. It's never the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock this out. And then hopefully the cows... Well, my hands aren't going to last much longer. Well, maybe what I should do in the future is have this come out a little higher like three inches instead of like one and a half that then I have to raise this whole pipe in this area, which is not ideal. Um, so this is why the cows this morning were drinking. You can't see it, but there's a draw, a draw right in here, a low point where underneath the bottom of a pond, the outflow of a pond, there is water at the surface. And so they were drinking there. It wasn't ideal. It was a little muddy because they muck it up, but it was, they had water. So I think moral of the story is these troughs are great most of the year, but there's nothing more resilient than a waterfall or a nice V-shaped channel uh, in the ground where there's lots of water flowing year round. Like that's the best cow water. Um, that's more resilient than a trough gravity feed situation like this. This obviously has a lot of advantages in terms of managing cows away from the water. Uh, this this wire is down, but it should be up. Trying to keep them out. You know, you want to keep them out of wet area, obviously. Livestock and water generally want to be kept apart. Um, but they need water, so there's that. I think this is not hot. Not hot right now, or not very... Once we get out of the polar vortex, I'll tune up the fence. Usually it starts failing with wind and snow and ice and cold all at once. So it's not always running all the time, but luckily they're pretty trained. So that's interesting, really interesting finding that it froze above the water surface. <sighs>